to the right. and so that blue needs, states. Yes. So that's um, that's a problem. So, however, Grant, I really think America needs these immigrants. They do need because nobody wants to work. No, no. The, the like every restaurant I go, there is a sign outside like, "Hey, we're hiring." Yes, we're and, hiring. And why is that? Because because the, there's not enough people to work. Well, but what and if, the Americans what, don't want to work? Wait like Marcus, then Marcus, what if we Ameri did this? What if we did this? Everybody that comes in that's eligible to work, whether it be a migrant or whatever, when they come in, instead of holding them at the border, not letting them just through. give them a social security number. No, no, give them a work permit so they can work on the farms, uh, where an in industry. It's a good idea. I mean, in LA, uh, all the restaurants, they need people. They do need people. And I mean, Yeesh. we go in the restaurants and we're waiting an hour waiting and a half for hour. dinner. Yeah. And Cause why? there's all on their And here steps. we got people at the border sleeping in silver bags because they can't get through and they're there for months. So, I mean, if the Congress was smart enough, they would take this and set up a program where these people could come in as immigrants. Uh, and yes, there's good people coming in and there's bad people coming in. Okay. And so you got to figure out who's good and who's bad, but then give them an opportunity to make life. They can pay taxes just like anybody else. They can live a normal life. Uh, as the immigrant, you know, uh, but instead we're fighting back and forth. Uh, the Republicans are doing everything in the house, but really take care of the, uh, United States business. They don't want to deal with votes. Children who need, uh, the mothers who need money to help them when they go to work. So the kids can have childcare and all that. Right. That was voted out by the Republicans just recently. It was going along good, but then it came to the end and they were supposed to re-vote for it. Right. They voted no. Uh, voters' rights. Why would we have to be messing with all the voter stuff if voter rights was in, it would be slam dunk. What do you mean voters' rights? Can you explain that to me? Voter rights, if it was if the bill was passed by Congress, everybody in America could vote. Like everybody, like even the immigrants. No, no, immigrants can't vote. You're not. They're not United States. But who citizens. else? But every everybody can vote. Every no, everybody can't vote. No, why not? In who, the southern states, in some of the southern states, you can't vote. I mean, they blackball you in your area, so you can't vote. They're trying to. Oh, hold it I up. mean the district. They like they get these districts oh, yeah. together. The, the states are playing the game. Yeah, and then you see these Republican states are. I mean, when we when Obamacare came in, I was laughing because I would go to meetings and we talk about Obamacare, and I would go to these big meetings where all these people were at, and they were talking about they just hated Obamacare and they, it's going to ruin the country. And I said, "Well, what kind of insurance do you have?" And they would tell me, and I kind of laugh. I'm thinking to myself, "Well, they don't realize that's Obamacare." This other the states changed the name of it so it wouldn't so have it Obama wouldn't, name. Oh, have Obama name on yes, it. Yes, yes. Everybody is like yes. enjoying yes. all the and now it's people people are loving uh, your talk. Uh people are saying people are surprised that you're left wing. Are you left wing? No. Yeah, you're oh, left, yeah, left wing. Left, no, well, I'm I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. You're man. in the middle. I'm kinda in the middle. You know, I no, you're I'm extreme pro, left. I, I'm you're pro, a communist. I'm pro abortion. Grant, you're extreme. You're you're. No, I'm not. You're a hundred percent left wing. No, I'm not. You're like communist. You're like uh, Bernie Sanders. No. What, what? Tell me, like some some features that you have on the Republican side. For you to be in the middle, you need to like something on the Republican side. Well, right now there's not too much to like. So you're extreme left. No, if they're not doing it. Tell Grant, me, Grant, for you to be in the middle, mm -hmm. you need to have something from this side and something from that side. You are a hundred percent left communist. I'm, you don't like I'm anything the Republicans do, so you're not in the you're middle. You're talking about a left communist coming in. I mean, you need to knock that one out. Now, you're not a communist. Absolutely, like Bernie not. Sanders. You wouldn't vote for Bernie Sanders. I would vote for Bernie He's Sanders. He's a communist. He's not a communist. He's an independent. 
No, he's a Democrat, but he like he likes he's communism. A, he's a, Ryan, the, you, you can't make lives. that assumption on, on no? that, that man. No. Okay, so why why do you consider yourself middle, not left, center, center, not left? Because I'm for the people. That's left. That is not left. What do you mean it's left? If you're left, if you're liberal, you're for the people, not center. I'm for the people. No, no. I'm not left. I'm I'm I'm. I'm I'm Democrat, yes. Have you ever voted for Republicans in your whole life? No. Never. Um no. Nixon. Absolutely not. You don't like Nixon. No. When I was in the in, when I was in yeah. United States Navy, I was one of the anti Nixon crowd because really? of the, the Yeah. Because so like you were uh celebrating the Watergate scandal. You're like, yeah, get that nigga. No, no, no. Can we watch our language? Okay, please. Okay. Yes. Um, no. When I was in the Navy and went to Vietnam, I was on a ship. Okay. And I was only in Vietnam for 30 days because our ship was there because it was right at the the fourth year of the war, I think, and we were thinking about bringing the troops home and so, so you didn't get any like down troops any wounded troops any did any wounded troops like people who were hurt from the war did well, you actually well, we had get them in the, in our, our, in the ship on the ship yes yeah yeah they got See, like people without ship. legs and yeah. shit like that i served i i i flew to the uss midway i was on the air uh uss i can't remember the name of it but uh the doctor got sick on the ship They flew me over to the USS Midway to take over the the uh, the sick bay, and I was in charge. And they flew me my helicopter, which I hate to fly, and I held on to everybody in the flight because I can't stand to fly. Anyway, I, uh, they flew me over to USS Midway. I was there. I was there for approximately almost two months. And I took care of all the Navy and the Marines that were on the ship. And uh, I, I ran sick bay every morning. I took care of all the sick. And on things that I needed a doctor, I had uh, I could call and uh, talk to a doctor, and they would tell me what I needed to do when there was you know a patient was really in big big trouble. Now, I was a I was a med, uh, medic, and so. We knew how to take care of patients. We were more like nurses, uh, but a little bit more of training. And um, I also, uh, I was in Philippines for, uh, well, I went to Japan. Hey, you know, these people, a lot of a lot of Trump supporters and right-wing people, they're like talking shit to you on the, on the chat. That's fine. I mean, they can talk. I mean... We tell what we say what we feel. You know, we have our rights to say what we want to say. Oh, that's freedom. America, like you yes, have freedom of freedom, speech. Yeah. yeah. I mean, does Trump not say what he wants to say about whoever he, he says? Does. He you doesn't know. go. In our country, you can't really do that because you're gonna go arrested. If you say like your opinion, you go arrested. Well, this is my opinion, you know. It's, right, right. I'm not a book writer, so I don't I'm not saying in granite that that's what, you know, 